Good morning, boys and girls. I have a book to share with you that has exaggeration in it. It is called The Gum Chewing Rattler. Have you ever heard of a rattlesnake that could chew gum? Crazy. Well, I want you to listen for the exaggeration in this story today, and then afterwards, you guys are gonna get to write some exaggeration, okay? All right, so here we go. The Gum Chewing Rattler by Joe Hayes. It's a pretty cool picture on the front. Hopefully it's not too bright in here. When I was a kid growing up in Arizona, I used to love to chew bubble gum. I always had a big juicy wad of bubble gum in my mouth. I'm not talking about one piece of bubble gum. I would put two or three pieces of gum in my mouth at once. I might even put six or seven pieces of bubble gum in my mouth at the same time. Isn't that crazy? Have you ever done that before? I would be chomping away on bubble gum all the time, even when I was at school. My teacher would see the wad in my mouth and snap, get rid of that gum. I had to take the gum out of my mouth, wrap it in some paper and throw it in the waste basket. I didn't really care. I always kept another package of bubble gum right in my shirt pocket. Now the word waste basket, that's another word for a trash can or another name for a trash can. My mom was the one who would get really mad at me though because I would forget to take the gum out of my shirt pocket. I'd throw my shirt in the wash with all the other dirty clothes and guess what would happen? Mm, I wouldn't want my kids to do that either. I bet your mom wouldn't like that. Now, I grew up a very long time ago and my mom had one of those old fashioned ring washing machines her washing machine didn't spin. She had to put each piece of clothing through the wringer and the rollers would squeeze the water out. She would put my shirt through the wringer and the rollers would squish the bubble gum right into the cloth and make a big gunky stain all around the pocket. Now, that does not sound good. Okay. My mom would say, look at this, you've ruined another shirt. But then one day, something happened that changed her mind and she never got mad at me again for carrying gum in my shirt pocket. That, out in the, that day, I was walking around out in the desert, kind of daydreaming, chomping on my bubble gum and not paying attention to where I was going. And I stepped right on a rattlesnake's tail. <coughs> that does not sound good. The snake couldn't rattle and warn me because I was standing on his tail. So he didn't even worry about warning me. He just came striking up through the air aiming his fangs right at my heart. That rattlesnake hit me, bam, right on my shirt pocket. That's where I was carrying my spare bubblegum and the rattlesnake's fangs got stuck in the bubblegum. Look at that. Wow, what are the chances, huh? There I stood with my foot on the rattlesnake's tail and with his fangs stuck in my shirt pocket. He was thrashing around and whipping up against me. I was so scared I couldn't even move. I just froze there, staring into his little beady eyes. That looks pretty scary, doesn't it? It says he was thrashing and whipping against me. Hmm, thrashing and whipping. Those eyes were just looking hate back at me. The snake started working his jaws all around trying to get his fangs out of the gum so that he could get back at me and really bite me good. I love the illustrations in this story. But 
Look at that. But, of course, as the snake was working his jaws around, trying to get his fangs out of the bubble gum, the gum kept getting softer and softer. And the next thing I knew, there was a little pink bubble coming up out of the rattlesnake's mouth. It got bigger and bigger until it was twice, maybe three times the size of a basketball. Now think about that for a minute. Think about the size of a basketball and then think three times the size of that. Whoa, could that be an exaggeration? I got up all my courage. I brought my hand up slowly and pop, I broke the bubble. The snake went flying back and his head hit on a rock and knocked him out cold. But that, but that did take all my courage. I fainted. I fell out. I, f I fell out in the other direction. I didn't come home for lunch, and my mom came looking for me. She found me lying there on the ground, looking, lying on the ground, and lying in the other direction was a rattlesnake with bubble gum all over his face. Hmm. My mom asked me what happened, and I told her the same story I just told you. And you know what? She didn't believe it. Did you? Did you believe that story? What did you think about it? Did you love it? Did you hear exaggeration? I did. I hope you enjoyed this story and I can't wait to read you another story. Look for your assignment um, on Google Classroom because you guys are gonna get to write an exaggeration. Have a great, awesome day and we will see you later. Bye.